Well, what the heck is going on, happy people? Guess where I am? I'm over at Brito Musgrande's house right now. Here comes my little crazy brother, Gabriel, and he's got his dog redneck. Where the lobsters at? Where the lobsters at? Where they at? Go! Where they at? Since he was a child, that is how that joker rolls. Mr. Charisma, let's do this. I am all into inspirational videos and inspirational stuff. There's this video, there will be a link in the description below. It's by a guy by the name of Les Brown. And he says, when he was a kid, this guy was talking to him about being a DJ. And you gotta prepare to be a DJ. And he goes, well, I, I don't have a job as a DJ yet. Uh, I don't have a job as a DJ yet. And he goes, that's fine. It's better to be prepared without an opportunity than to have the opportunity and not be prepared. I wanna tell y'all, I guarantee you whenever I was a kid, I was preparing for moments like this because this is what I live for. Good times in the outdoors, catching, cleaning, and cooking. Let's roll. It's right here, what good times are made of, y'all. Early fall, deer season's on the way, and we're going out diving. Who's the most handicapped on the boat so I can go with them and sort of make up the difference? You talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> that dude right there, you think he's on the boat? Alright you guys, no. Gabe's, Gabe's nickname his whole life was Mouth of the South, alright? So, y'all have seen him in enough videos to know now that uh, if anyone's going to do all the lip talking, it's Gabe. Go ahead, David. Right back, they got out. Where'd he go, Redneck? Get him, get him, get him. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? at? Uh-oh. So he just gave the ball a couple big pulls, and when you see it pulling that hard under, he's like, hey, mark this rock, it's a good rock. So we just marked it. We'll, uh, we'll add a new name to the uh, waypoint list, but I suspect they are gonna have a bag full of bugs right here when they come up. Obviously no more than 12. No, I, we're pretty good on Fish Rules app. We uh, understand regulations and are law-abiding citizens and take pride in uh, sustainable fisheries through effective regulations.
there they are, right there. Oh, there's, there they both are. That means there's that's a good sign. Turtles. Sharks are on his back. Back up, Aubrey. It's like real bad. Here, Gabe. The, the, the shark caught the bag. Don't drop my fish. I got, I got it, I got it. Here, Gabe. Give me your gun, Gabe. Give me the gun. I got this. Watch out, redneck. There you go, Dave. Woo! But two big lemon sharks. I look and my bag was 20 foot off the bottom and a shark got it. Look, there's the shark right there. Yeah. There's, look, there's the two sharks right there. They're coming for you, Gabe. I want to know who's buying me a new bag. I got a new one at the house for you. I tried to beat him off. You let your brothers borrow your gear and this is how they treat it. That's exactly how big the shark's mouth was. It had it. <laughs> David was acting like my pit bull. He had to run him off of me several times. Hey, I got your back. <laughs> Y'all better not come up without your lemon on the first dive. X marks the spot, ladies and gentlemen. That's where me and Brito Musk Grande are gonna go settle the score. Chicken dinner, baby. 
We crushed them. We're living it out and we're ready to go home. Check this out. Ugh, I know most of y'all are aware of this, but that fish right there is a, called a lionfish. Their dorsal spines up here uh, are venomous. They have a neurotoxic venom that is like, it, it's like a super bad wasp. All right, you guys, so you've seen me clean a million fish and you've seen me clean a bunch of lionfish. Gabe is a master at spearing and cleaning lionfish. Let's take a look at how he does it. And hey, by the way, check him out on Instagram. He's all, he posts way more than me on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Blue Gabe. Blue Gabe. Blue Gabe. There'll be a link in the description below. Check it out. What are you looking out for whenever you do this, Gabe? Those big dorsal spines. How oh, do you like that knife? I like it. Is that approved? That's approved. And I'm gonna show you the fastest, best way you will ever clean a lobster. There has been no cuts made. Grab all his legs just like that. You need to wear gloves. Sort of, uh, that will pop right back. When you do that, you expose all the meat. Comes right up. It all comes out. You don't lose any. Then you take this. Peel his, uh, his knuckles out, just like that. The rest is just guts. I've been catching lobsters my entire life. I never knew that until I watched a video on Facebook earlier this week and I was like, I gotta try that. Robert, I swear, every time he puts me on camera, I look like I just came from a whole Beverly Hillbilly show or something. <laughs> Mom is peeling some sweet potatoes in here. I've got some rice cooking in here. I've got sweet corn. And if you've ever seen these, these things are awesome. It's sweet potato steam in the bag. That is the best way to cook a sweet potato. Check that out. Ropate and Sarah Arrington residence. Hello. Look at hot mama in the kitchen. Yeah, she put on makeup and brushed her hair today. I didn't do that. I worked out in the yard all day. Sauce, we're gonna use tamari. About that much. This is actually real wasabi. It says genuine wasabi. Easy, go easy. And then honey. Golden Blossom Honey. All right, so this whole, this, this all started because Gabe wanted me to make potato crust, sweet potato crusted fish. Taste this sauce and see if you like it. Yeah. Is that good? If, if he or my dad say it's good, you just stop right there because you've already accomplished something that day. It so, drives me nuts when you do this thing. Like just be a man, look. See? What I want to know is do you like the knife? Yeah, I love that knife. I like all of them, but that one's actually really nice. You can get this at silverstag.com. There will be a link in the description below. <laughs> And while you're at it, go check over at uh, DeerMeatForDinner.com. You can get these shirts at DeerMeatForDinner.com. Sarah's dinner. getting ready for the Christmas season, y'all. Go check out DeerMeatForDinner.com. Yeah. We're coming up with all kinds of new shirts, hats, hoodies, and I really cool get... Deer Meat for Dinner merch. Aubrey, Aubrey, how many Deer Meat for Dinner shirts do you have? I gave my ass. Listen, this is the no joke. You're selling I've it got to your three audience, Deer Meat for Dinner. We don't even have any. My kids 
<laughs> Who watched probably- Hold on! Jake has one, we got one for Jake. My kids watch Deer Meat for dinner probably 40 times a night. So that's 40 views a night <laughs> times seven, then how many other weeks are in a year? Yeah, and yeah. they don't even have one. Just cut the lobster, all right? So this isn't like your prototypical cooking show. This is just y'all hanging out with us at a family dinner. And this is how I am going to sweet potato across some lobster. Hey, is that Everglades? That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is original Everglades. Best thing you've ever put on any piece of food you've ever eaten in your entire life. I'll say that to your face. <laughs> yeah. Is this Rod Arrington or Rod Arrington? I'm not very confused. <laughs> then, the next step is throw it in some flour, like that. Is that like dredging? Yeah, it's dredging. We're gonna dredge it in some flour. This is some egg. That becomes nice and sticky. Once that happens, take a little bit of uh, sweet potato, like that, put it right on top. Mm. Now, let me ask Robert. I think I have an idea of the answer to this that I'm pretty sure your viewers don't. As you're doing this, how much of this did you plan out and how much is just happening as it happens? This all, everything that I do on and off camera happens as I plan it on the fly. Nothing is planned in my life. Did y'all plan on getting out dove today? <laughs> Look, here's the scoop. Every we time you got no, in the no, water, wait, wait. it went straight down. We never on re fish. we never re got to talking about what all went down. A, we were sabotaged. Apparently, yeah. Gabe, we, won. Gabe dove and swam about 40 yards. Aubrey said, we put swam me in on the almost X. Almost seven miles. Aubrey said, put me in on the golden X was your exact words, was yeah. it not? Yeah, I think you the put golden us in X. on the black X. No, no. I put you where? There was nothing golden about that X. Now you only put sweet potato on one side. Yeah, you only crushed one side. Did you put that black sauce on there? That's what I'm talking about, y'all. I didn't go to bed till 12.30, got up at four. There we have it. Sweet potato crusted lionfish, sweet potato crusted lobster, got a sweet potato, some fresh corn rice, and then we're gonna put a little sauce on there. And we're gonna finish it off with some cilantro. Ah! Not for Gabe! Not, don't put that on mine! He you ate cilantro. It's not cilantro, it's chives. <laughs> That's right. Alright, do that over again. I don't want chives on mine either. Why don't you want some chives? Because I I, I would have said, hey, put some chives on there if I wanted chives. <laughs> I told y'all. Him, my dad, crazy, loco en la cabeza, man. I'll eat, hey, hey, hold up. I'll eat that. Okay, so. Mm. That's good. I love that flavor with the sweet potato. Yeah. The lionfish. The there's, lobster is good, but the lionfish is so much better. There's no question lionfish is the best fish in the ocean, in my opinion. The flavor of the lionfish is so it's so much better. To like me the grouper and the hogfish had kids. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this whole family is about to devour all this food. I just wanted to get their their thoughts on camera. It's really cool to go out with our with my brothers and David Parra, catch fresh fish, catch fresh lobsters, come home and cook it up. This isn't a show, this is just our life and you guys are seeing. That's mom, that's right, there's mom. We've been doing this all of our lives. But thank God YouTube came along when it did because it's a blessing to me and to our family. And I appreciate all of you being a part of our lives and letting me be a part of your life. But for now, take care, God bless, and we are gone.